Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Guy in fuck Trump T-shirt harasses woman over flag, so neighbor evens the odds. A very disturbing video is now going viral online, showing a man's very odd reaction to seeing a woman flying the American flag on her own front porch. One of the woman's neighbors from a block away actually witnessed the man in a fuck Trump t-shirt harassing the woman simply for showing her patriotism and decided to take a stand in defense of her neighbor and our flag. As you saw in the video above, it begins with one of the woman's neighbors stepping up to confront an unhinged leftist on her behalf for attacking her for flying our nation's colors. You're being a DCK, says the neighbor. I was over here you just came up to her and started yelling at her and attacking her for no reason. The unhinged liberal then said he has asked her to take her flag down like three days ago as if he is some sort of authority figure in the neighborhood who is allowed to tell the homeowner what to do on her private property. But the neighbor quickly replies to the punk that it is not his right to force anyone to remove the American flag from their own home. To which he responded, yeah, actually, it is the law. What? Here is more via Mad World News. The video begins with one of the patriotic woman's neighbors stepping up to confront an unhinged leftist on her behalf. Quit seriously attacking her for no reason. You're being a DCK, says the neighbor. I was over here, you just came up to her and started yelling at her and attacking her for no reason. We asked her to take her flag down like three days ago, says the anti-Trump man, as if he is some sort of authority figure in the neighborhood who is allowed by law to dictate what homeowners are allowed to display on their private property. However, the neighbor quickly informs the punk that it is not his right to demand anyone remove the American flag from their own home. Yeah, actually, it is the law, he responds foolishly as if forcefully asserting himself will convince the woman that this bogus law he made up on the spot actually exists. This guy clearly isn't a member of the state bar, so perhaps he would benefit from some knowledge about the 2005 Freedom to Display the American Flag Act, which specifically prohibits real estate management organizations from telling citizens they cannot fly the flag. In 2006 the Freedom to Display the American Flag Act of 2005 officially became law. This law basically says that no condo board, housing co-op, or residential real estate management group can restrict a person's right to display the American flag on their own residential property as long as the display jibes with federal law and is reasonable. Source, CNN. Additionally, Section 6 of the United States Flag Code states, the flag should be displayed on all days. On Flag Day in 1923, a group of organizations headed by the American Legion outlined the National Flag Code as a set of advisory rules for displaying the flag. These rules became law during World War II and form the bulk of what's now the United States Flag Code. These rules cover all manner of extremely specific situations, but they're all governed by the same basic principle, the flag is one of the most visible and important symbols of our country, so we should treat it with respect. Source, CNN. Sadly, over the past decade, the American flag has become a more and more controversial symbol to those on the far left. This disturbing trend began during the Obama administration when we saw an unprecedented push to denounce all things American and accept crippling ideas like Marxism, communism, and socialism. All of a sudden, it was a bad thing to be considered a nationalist, which simply means that you love your country. Moreover, we were told to abandon the sentiment of American exceptionalism in favor of globalism. For the record, it isn't illegal to fly the American flag on your own property. If you're offended by homeowners who are proud enough of their country to fly its flag, perhaps you ought to consider relocating to another nation. Perhaps one where Marxism, communism, or socialism are the way of life. Venezuela, maybe. You might originally be put off by the fact that a cup of coffee will cost you an entire month's salary, but hey, that's socialism for you. But, of course, the same people who seemingly cannot stand the mere sight of old glory are never actually willing to live anywhere else. The glaring irony lies in the fact that they enjoy the freedoms and opportunities afforded them here far too much to pass them up. Those freedoms and opportunities would not exist if not for the brave men and women who fought and died for our flag, but the anarchists who bash it don't seem to be bothered by this obvious flaw in their judgment. By the looks of the guy in this video and how much material it took to make that fuck Trump shirt he is wearing it's pretty obvious the guy isn't a successful attorney who knows much about the law. So who knows what this loon is even talking about or what his true gripe is with our flag. But whatever it is the great thing about America is our doors are open. He can leave whenever he wants, and I'm sure Cuba and Venezuela would take him in, although who knows how they would be able to keep him fed. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click 
like, and subscribe. Thank you.